SMG is taking cracks at that zombie, but that's fine. Here we go. Oh, you guys want to do some work over here, huh? Nah, I don't think that's going to work out. Well, the time has come for us to once again unleash the undead, chaos, anarchy on society. This one should be a treat to all of you Infectinator fans out there as we are checking out the full release now of Swarm the City Zombie Evolved. Now, you guys might recall a while back we took this out as a spin. I think it was a demo of some kind a couple of months back. And it seemed to have a lot of promise, albeit fairly janky at the time. There was some jank. Now that the full game is out, let's see if that jankiness has gone away. And we have a much more crisper, post-apocalypse, decimating human society. That's good. I am the Zombie King, Carr the Great, an undying of Nephilim and King of Misthome. Several thousand years ago, I descended upon the land of Makan, turning nearly half of all humans into my subjects. But just as I was about to complete my conquest, humans and gods united to march on the I was defeated. My zombie army had been depleted of its power. With no way to kill me, they sealed me deep underground beneath the Cathedral of Santa Maria. I spent several thousand years locked up in total darkness, but I could still feel the pillaging and massacres that occurred on this land did not cease upon me being sealed. Humans simply loved to fight one another. I fell into a long, deep slumber. On the day I reawaken, I will once again rule over the land. Look at this! It's an ancient treasure! Oh, thank heavens. I won't have to do this damn dirty work any longer if I can just get that gem. But what the hell's happening? <laughs> Did you miss me? Humans? Oh, you fools. You absolute fools. Well, we actually have in kind of, I guess, quote unquote, animated intro now. Before it was just like a thing like text or something like that. The voice, you know, uh, wasn't really feeling the effects. They kind of overlaid onto that, but that's just me. Lucky human, I bestow upon you the glory of becoming the first zombie. Indeed. Select death invasion, but it requires mana. Damn right it does. Let's go over here and drop it like it's hot on our boy. Oh, my zombies are ravenous. Attack the first human in sight. Indeed, zombie. Get over there. Chow down, my friend. Acquire us more mana right now. Thankfully for us, this some um, human is quite dumb. Sees a zombie marching his way, decides to just hang out and continue working. I mean, human is far from enough for my zombies. Push the attack. So let's group select. Alright, the controls are fairly simplistic, I like it. You played one of these games before in the past, and you kind of know what you're up to. That's right, everybody continue working as um, people around you get massacred and apparently eaten alive. Oh, they're running now. The infection bar is filling up. Surrender weak mortals when hit by a zombie, humans will be infected with the virus. And after a period of time, they will turn into zombies. However, zombies have unquenchable thirst for blood. Once they spot a target, they will chase them down without thinking, so don't be surprised. If you find them disobeying your orders. There we go. You little zombie. <laughs> That's what he called us. You little zombie. The police are not a concern. The frightened humans have sneaked into their houses. After limiting the humans out... Look, dude. Can I, I want to keep eyes on this fight. We have guys with guns blatting me. So now they're inside, causing chaos and mayhem and destruction. A lot of gore probably happening too, blood all over the place, limbs flying all over the area. This guy's apparently having a seizure outside, it's a very bad time to have a seizure, but they're infected as you can see, so... Time is running out for them, unfortunately. Alright boys, off to the fences, bring them down. It's 
seems we're doing minimal damage and we're apparently getting blatted along the way. This is not a really good strategy. Um, whatever your name is. Zombie Overlord. Damn those humans who cowered behind the wooden fences. Ambush my soldiers. They won't get away with this. Flame Walker I call upon thee. Yes, I need the Flame Walker now. I guess we're gonna infect one of you guys from afar. That works for me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at the infections that we got, too. Well, boys. Oh, we got two of them in there, too. Yo, let's go. Bring those towers down. <laughs> That's how it's done. The policemen with flamethrowers deal fire damage to the zombies. However, under the protection of the Flamewalker Zora, all zombies' fire resistance is booted. Or boosted. Not booted. You don't want the fire resistance to be booted. You actually want more of it. So, let's see. There it is. So, increases all zombie fire resistance. So we have 104 then. Alright, everybody selected. Let's go towards this fence. And I guess as we are moving towards them, we could go down to one time speed. Bring this tower down. That is indeed flamethrower, man. Oh, ooh, ooh! It seems to me that flamethrower man's uh, little flamethrower pack just went up in flames, quite literally. All right, boys, you know what to do. Some of you over there, and some of you in there. There it is. Ooh, wow! We didn't even finish with the other one. So we have easy, we have common, and you need to complete common mode first to unlock hard mode. Why do a lot of games do this nowadays? Like, what if I just want to go into hard mode instantly? Why must I beat the game in normal to unlock hard? Fine, we'll do common. The human presence becomes stronger, and the town has taken shape. The government and police stations are capable of responding a zombie invasion. Oh, what a ridiculous human being. How dare you try to stop me? But you need to choose the right timing to invade, for example, after the group of annoying patrol officers getting farther away. Humans killed by zombies have a 4% chance to become zombie generals, so it's best to decide your general before the invasion. Okay, so we got one to drop here to start off with. I like how everybody's grouped up over here, so this is uh, quite perfect for me. Hello, my friends. Oh, no! This random human just um, passed away, or passed out. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Don't eat the human as the other ones are attacking you, you ding-dong. Take care of them first. Bite them, drop a little bit of infection. Okay, so they're fleeing. We got some infections happening. Where's the patrol, by the way? We got a couple of cops over here we gotta worry about. Another one over there. So one, two, three cops. Excellent. Where's the patrol at? All the way over there, so we don't gotta worry. Although, they're running over there, so they're gonna alert the patrol that we're here. That's one thing we have to do, keep in mind. Uh, let's select everybody. And... Uh, you know what? Let's start moving towards... Oh, the policemen are actually coming towards us already. One policeman still about. And we got a fire general. Let's go. They are now erecting wooden fences around them. Well, luckily for us. Uh oh, I mean, not luckily for us. Now these guys are where they were here because they finally made it. Yeah, I know they sent an SMG platoon. Rally your zombies and launch the attack. Well, luckily for us, we now have enough to actually take care of them, I would say. Here's what we do. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do it. The Firewalker should be enough to handle them. Although he's almost down, but still. I want to use this infection on the platoon itself. I think that's would probably work out a lot better. Everybody, if we can't... Oh, you know what? You guys are stuck in there, aren't you? We need a sense to go down. Those buildings have been brought down as well. Very good. Yeah, the wooden fences apparently trap us in there, which is kind of a little bit annoying. Now we can do this. <laughs> oh my god, you went down really quickly. But again, it wasn't really a matter of like, you know, trying to infect them all. I was just to do major damage as we did. Now I need you guys all to rally up. They're sending another platoon. But we have enough souls to get another big infection, so that's good. Hey, um... Can we all gather up now and rally about? Thank you. 
firewalkers, that means you too. Leave the fences alone. Let's go, boys. Firewalker went down, but again, it did what he had to do. Hurt and infect. We'll tune this down. I think we should go after this as quickly as possible because obviously they're, send they're sending the really big guns from this building right here, the police station. Then we could worry about the government is what I'm thinking. But this definitely has to go down as soon as possible. And once again, we have uh, enough souls stored up that if we want to, you know, infect somebody in the fly with our big flame walker, we can. Let us um, enter this building, my friends. Two hours later. I mean, this building's got to be going down soon, right? There it is. Numbers are going down. You can actually see it from there. Four more. There it is. Okay. So if we could all rally up here, that means you stragglers as well. Yeah. Come over here. I don't even know how you got lost over there. We're doing all the work and you're just barely just chilling, having a good time. SMG is taking cracks at that zombie, but that's fine. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you guys want to do some work over here, huh? Nah, I don't think that's going to work out. These guys should be falling to the affection relatively soon. Alright, no problem. We have apparently unlocked the Amalgadon. I think that should be the big boy if I'm right. The hell is this? Broken igniter or badly broken igniter that can barely spark strike a sparkle. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what these are for. <laughs> these weren't part of the uh, demos I played before, so that's gonna be new. There's currency involved in here too, huh? Prep hub. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, this is a completely new aspect of the game, then. Humans are such weaklings, how boring. Hmm. This castle seems pretty good. I'll use it as my battle hall. Alright, it's time to go to the dead gate and meet my servants. Hmm. Click on the dead gate to enhance the generals. Yeah, this wasn't a thing before. So we got four more generals to unlock afterwards. We have Amalgadons can grow themselves by absorbing nearby dead zombies. Each growth increases their siege attack by 5% and maximum HP by 5. Amalgadon extends at 20 stacks and upgrades to the next stage. So you... absorb dead zombies. That sounds like a good one. Yo, let's get that one. It's a passive as well. Yo, let's go. Alright. Can we... Acquire. Yeah, can you stop? Stop talking to me. <laughs> I want to go. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a big fast boy, dude. He picked up the light point. He's beating that car up now. The Amalgadon is terrifying. Could you imagine this monster chasing you this way? Okay, everybody, um. That's your target right there. Ow. Dude, it's terrifying, especially how quick he starts off with. So he's got like an initial burst right when you summon him, it does seem. Oh, there's no getting away from that one, boys. <laughs> the explosion actually hurts your team and like stuns them momentarily. So that's two down. Mind you, I still got the first one over my head. We're still waiting for another one, right? There he comes. You boys ready? Let's go. Let us indeed go. And give this guy a nice warm zombie amalgadon welcome. Worth it. How about um this fella right here boxing away? Hello, boys! <laughs> oh wow, he's being bladded really quickly though. Yeah, so him solo, not as um proficient, I would say. In a group setting. Not attack allies. Well, I'm not trying to attack the allies. Not as proficient, I would say, in a group setting. Like the Flamewalker, who does the burst of everybody around. But still, he does enough damage where, I guess if it's not like, say, if it was an SMG platoon, that would have been a terrible idea, because he would have been lit up instantly. But with a regular policeman, it takes a bit longer. So yeah. I like how this dude walked into that building, still holding onto the vehicle. Oh, that was a quick mission. We have, uh, let's start off here. Where do we want to start off? These are our goals. Police. We don't want to spawn in there, though. We want to actually come from outside in, because otherwise those guys will just light us up instantly. Over here is technically the government, and then that's what we want to explode. And plenty of people over here in oil drums as well for explosions. No cops, though? No patrols? Yes, there's the Grenadier Patrol, but on the outskirts. Okay. 
So let's start off with uh, just a regular infection. I think is going to be enough for now. Maybe, maybe you right over there. No, let's conserve the points that we got. Help. Oh no! Oh no! no. Oh, it's zombies again. Okay, so now that we got everybody here under control, Grenadier time. We might even, you know what? We're gonna also go after that afterwards, so we might as well. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't let them lure you over there. Don't let them lure you. They want, they want to actually snipe you from those towers, please. You scumbags, listen to me. I'm gonna lose an amalgadon that we got. They're not paying attention. You scumbags. Come over here. Okay. I'm gonna lose that one. That's fine. At least we're I wanna take care of this situation here first. Because their goal right now is indeed to split us up, and we need the Amalgadon to bring down this um giant pillars. Ooh, our Amalgadon, by the way, is now evolving. Oh, that's what's up. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down, please. Thank you. Alright. So we lost a lot of zombies here, but that's okay. Now at least backup shouldn't be an issue. Let's get in there. Whoever gets in here, we in fact, they come out, we get a lot more. So now this situation is under control. Got a couple of barrels there. This right here is what kind of screwed me up. Because those grenadiers essentially lured a lot of our group over here to get blatted by these grenade towers, which are problematic. We're up to 4015. Those guys are escaping, which is a shame. How about we, um, you know, keep that from happening if we can? Surprise, there's a lot of people still roaming about there. I guess they made it out of the building without an infection. I'm quite surprised about that. Okay, so that's good. We got the submachine gunners around. How we doing? I need everybody to congregate right over here. And once we're ready to go, we gotta go in there, guns blazing. I think we gotta do another Amalgadon as well. We have enough for it? Yes, we got enough for three of them as a matter of fact. Let's go. And let's drop like it's hot. Actually, you know what? Let me do a fire boy. Take these towers down. Remember Falcon, we can still do one more. But right now, I want these towers down. Tier 2. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot more towers down there. I didn't even notice those. Okay. This tower down. Thank you. Man, this entire building was just completely surrounded by grenade towers. Terrifying. So you guys are in there infecting already? Good. Now, leftovers over here, please. Thank you. Let's zoom on out. What do we got? A core stragglers. I guess those are the last ones that actually got infected. If you guys could do me a solid and um, bring yourselves over here. All right. So that's been taken care of. Let's all congregate over here. Who's this? It's one random human over here. <laughs> Come over here, you ding dong. I know that was a oh, waste of souls for just one dude, but you know, I didn't like him just wandering about over there, just freely hanging out. And let's see if maybe. No, it doesn't work. They have to be off the fricky now wall. So the quicker that goes down, the better for us. There it is. Now we do it. And if you guys could just blow up the oil drums, I'm sure everything will go kaplowy. Just, just blow up the oil drums, please. Well, for some reason, they just don't want to pay attention, so... Okay. They're using to blow that up. I, you could have easily just gone after the oil drums and chain reaction like that. But I guess they wanted to do it their own way. All right. And with that said and done, Tit is now under our zombie control. We are indeed going off to the Forte Arsenal branch. However, that's going to have to be another day, another time. If we do indeed come back to this at this point. Not entirely sure this is only a little bit of a one-shot preview because we did cover a demo this while back and I wanted to show you now the complete product, which I have. And to be honest with you, in comparison to the demo, this was a lot more polished, a lot more refined. The demo, as I mentioned, did feel fairly jank. Now, was it 100% free jank? Not quite. Some of the zombies didn't really pay attention. However, the game did tell, does tell you it's because of the bloodlust. You know, that's one way to hide coding, I imagine. Oh, it's just, uh, you know, he's a zombie. 
doesn't always pay attention. Yeah, maybe. On occasion, though, it kind of was a little bit annoying, but not really a big deal. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, though. All the information for this will be down below. I'll catch you next time.